So, the, so guys, this is a, um, this is a, and actually the cool thing is I was listening on the show and just to show you guys, like with say with things that we say, we really do sell. Like, it's not like a joke. So I listed it about three weeks ago, right, Mel? Not even. Yeah, maybe it's less than that. Does it show on there when I listed it? Um, no, I, I bet if I went back, you could find it. Okay. Uh, we're not doing that. <laughs> um, but, uh, this is what it is. It's a, uh, it's a printer for cards. Like for, I don't know. I really don't know guys, but it is, uh, I, I got it for just going to say a hundred bucks and I sold it for $9, dollars That's crazy. Then, crazy good sell. Now I want to go back. Okay. And then the next thing I sold, which I showed you guys on the show, is this? Um, the, it was a, a lineman pouch that I bought at the flea market for um, fifteen dollars, and I sold it the same night as that other piece for one hundred and twenty-five dollars. And guys, I used the uh, forty-six cents. That forty-six cents tells me what when I listed it, so I know within what year I listed it. So. The 46 cents is my age. So if you would have looked at something um, last October, it would have been 45 cents. Really? That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. So that's what I use. So I'll know, um, you know, somewhat, you know, once I get it, a full, you know, but I've always done it this way. Um, that's just something that I do. And it, and it works for me. Everybody has their own little, but come up with a creative way that will work for you that you'll remember. So everything I sell, it's whatever the money is, 46 cents, and the shipping, 46 cents. Gotcha. So. And you can stick that in the custom SKU as well, just like Leroy's saying there. It just helps him remember, you know. Yeah, because I have, a, I have a, a custom SKU as well. Mm -hmm. um, if you look you, right here, you see my page. See yeah. how you see the little tags? Yeah. So those little tags is my custom SKU, and I'll show those as well. Um, Let's see. So this is another piece that I sold that night. And see right there the custom skew? Yeah. So that's my skew. So what so I do is my hold up that. nice. Yeah. So my very first picture I take is just the numbers on that skew. And then what I do is I take the pictures with it in there. So if you look on it, it says P box. So I know it's going to go in a priority box, or someone else knows it's going to go in a priority box. Big, big means it's not in a bin. It goes on the off to the side on the on the 400 shelf, but it goes on the big side. Um, and then the bottle number is just so when I do my listing, I can see it. Um, and this is the item. I, I got it for free, and I sold it for 200 and, and none of these were office. They were all straight up just overnight. I woke up, and it was like, what? It's like, I need this now. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, I think that was it. It was those three items that were like really good. I also sold this. I think I showed you this too, Mo. Um, this was the other item I showed you that I shipped out yesterday. Remember, I bought it for. Oh, yeah, 40, yeah. I bought it last week for forty bucks. Um, actually thirty-five because I got them down, and sold it for one twenty-five. Uh, Forty-six. I am looking at this red, and it does pop. Like your red, um, what is that? It looks like plastic or rubber or leather. It's like a vinyl, yeah. I got a paper. I, I just ordered paper from Amazon that I just got in. That does pop. Even with the red on red, you would think it does. I used to I used to not, so I used to not use the red on red. Okay. I, I used to use, if it was red, I'd use like um, a, black a, or white one. a black or green or a white. And then I just started doing red on red the whole time. And it, it. It defines it. It's fine. You're fine. I feel that it doesn't really. I mean, all of this is red. I mean, this is probably one of the most pieces that will have a lot of red. Um, and this is that. This is that um, dial indicator. These things are amazing, like money wise, and with the box and everything. I mean, that's sometimes people know their start, and they know that there's money in them. Um, so the price will go up a little bit. But look, guys, I paid. Uh, 35 bucks and I still sold it for 125 and $15 shipping, which it did not cost 15 to ship it. But I go by a standard shipping. 
Um, I've never had any problems. I've never had Actually, any. I mean, do you ever have people, because I noticed this, it's estimated within 31 business days. So you've maxed it out there. Are yeah. you doing that because of COVID? Because I know a lot of people are, because of COVID, they have extra long shipping because they know there's a chance something could go wrong or get delayed. Um, oh, delivery should not be that. It's because I just noticed it says estimated within 31 days. And I know for a fact you get you ship every day. Yeah, I do. So I got to go back and double check that. Let's, so, I mean, you can't change that now since it already no, sold but, anyway. But well, let's see if yeah, the other ones are like that too. Let's see if the other ones are like that too. Um, just pick a random one and see what happens. I'm going to pick the big one. Um, it doesn't say it there. Might have just been a yeah. one-off then. No, it does. Look, it's, it's estimated before the the twenty sixth. Uh, that's half the time. That's like yeah. two weeks. <clears throat> hey, Tommy, it how's it going, man? Hey, Tommy, how are you? Tommy, this is the piece that um I was talking about yesterday, Tommy. And Tracy will joke at Tommy's like, yeah, Leroy went to the strip club. That's why he hasn't been here all day. He made that good money yesterday, and he's gone. <laughs> yeah, you show me dollar bills, right? Yeah, thank you, Tommy. That was actually funny. Um, and I don't want to bore the other people that are not here, but I can go back and show the other two pieces. So there was this piece um, that I bought for 15 bucks, sold it for, this was the same night, Tommy. And then this was the same night as well, Tommy. Uh, all, And then yesterday, I think I made like, uh, I don't know, like 15 bucks. And that as well. So I want to get out of this. Um, so you just, the bottom, it should say stop, stop sharing or stop. There you okay. go. Okay. All right. So we learned how to do a little bit of sharing. Now um, we know how to do that. That's cool. And I did some. I'm not saying it's bragging because it's this is what we do, so we know we make sales. I mean, if we're not, then what yeah. are we doing? yeah, no, that was awesome. I mean, and look at that, it was three listings, multiple hundreds. I yeah. mean, that was and, awesome. and the, the funny thing is, every one of well, I don't think the grinder you saw me list, but the other, the other three things you seen me pick in and sell within two weeks. Yeah, you know, which is really cool. Definitely, so. and I think even just listing that kind of stuff, if it's in demand stuff, eBay bumps your store up. Yeah, they say okay, he's putting up in demand stuff and it sells. Then you're, yeah. So any of that stuff that I've sold um, from my neighbor, um, any of that stuff that I've sold, it's always been somebody with four with four feedback, um, seven feedback nine feedback i think those are coming off of google yes. that i think they're coming off of google um i've never asked um and it's always a business and like one time i had one that it wasn't the big one it was something else and it was like a big transaction and i actually had to have a conference call with the uh, manager because it, they, were, they were buying it for the business yeah. And it was no big deal. They were just like, you know, it was really short. They were just like, you're going to send it out. They just wanted my verbal, even though eBay has it. Yeah. And yeah. How long you've been selling? Do you sell a lot of this stuff? Where'd you get it from? And it was simple. And I did that. And then they said, okay, we'll, um, we'll transfer the money over to our account and then we'll send it to your PayPal. Um, and when do you think you're going to send it out? And is it going to be confirmation and insured? And that was a hit. It was like, and then I messaged them back to follow up. Hey, how was everything, guys? Every, everything was great. Um, I said, I do get some things like this, so please check back on my uh, store. And that was the end of that conversation. Yeah. Whatever works. Yeah. So just showing you guys, like, look at the price, the prices of these empty boxes sold. I mean, honestly, even $10 or $22, um, when you, 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 a lot of you guys go to estate sales, when you go to these estate sales and you, they do the fill a box, you look at this one here, $27, it went overseas, but $27 with the strap, everything, don't pass that up, that's crazy. Right here, 25 bucks for this one. That's, uh, when you guys go to these estate sales and you see, you know, fill a bag day and you see those in the bedrooms, grab those things. 
Yeah. I mean, you don't have to, but in my eyes, I mean, that's just, that's easy money. Easy ship, you're under a pound. Um, nice and light. yeah. Yeah, and if, if you want to get fancy, um, it was in here too. Um, Rolex. Rolex, there you and, go. And you see the price of those. I've done it before. And you'll see the price of those, and that's like crazy, crazy. These are empty boxes, guys. $99. Um, one ten, ninety, one twenty. That one they settled for. But you figure if it slashed out, then they went ten dollars under, so thirty-five. Still, they charged twenty-five dollars to ship that. That's under a pound. It's that's a six-dollar ship. You know, because they knew they were going to accept a better price. And as you can see, guys, a lot of these things are going overseas. You know, when you see it slanted, that means it's going, it's leaving the United States. $89. This one went up for auction. This is an older one. This one went up up to auction for one hundred and two dollars This one, $129. They put a slash through it, so you figure they probably took 100 bucks for it. Yeah. Yeah. So... Just keep your eye out, guys. Well, one thing you one thing you can do to figure out prices like that. I mean, obviously you can look on WorthClamp, and then you can sort it, and you can see the one that sold below for the next lowest price. So you can know it goes it went for above that price at least. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Those are good though. Yeah. Don't mess, don't uh, pass those up. Yeah. And when you when you guys are listing stuff like. Do that extra research. Spend that five extra minutes and look up the other ones. Like then, you, are you gonna remember it every time? You're not gonna remember it every time, but you're gonna remember it eventually. Yeah. Like, Man, I remember looking it up, and that that box was those Rolex boxes were worth such and such. Yeah. You know, you and it will be the time when you go and it, it there's not home runs. So you're gonna go into the state sale and you're gonna be you're gonna have a five hundred dollars in your pocket. You're gonna be so excited. You're gonna go and you're gonna be like, "You there ain't nothing there for you. Everything's gone." But then you go up in the bedroom, remember stuff, look stuff up like previous, like before time, and and then remember all oh, that's right. That was a clip from RMP Just List with Mo and Leroy in the mornings. We record. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern. Check us out on YouTube at Reseller Niche and or Blood, Sweat, and Sell on YouTube. See you next time. Thanks for listening to the Reseller Niche Podcast. Show notes and social media links are located at resellerniche.com. Please comment, rate, and subscribe to us on iTunes or YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts.